All right, everyone, good evening. Thank you so much for being here for the first induction ceremony for Alpha Alpha Alpha. And I just clap for that. Awesome. Alpha 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 Honor Society recognizes the academic achievement of first generation college students. Myself, Dr. Lakeisha Thorpe, Chancey Page, Dr. Rita Brazillo, who's in the back, are all members and advisors for Alpha Alpha Alpha, and we're extremely excited to have you here this evening. <clears throat> Please first join me in welcoming the Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Chris Doherty, who is first going to accept the charter and then say a few brief remarks. So, VP Doherty, on behalf of Alpha 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 organization established on this day at Chestnut Hill College, I present you with the charter Delta, Delta Zeta chapter of this particular organization. Welcome everyone this evening, and I also would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Lakeisha Thorpe, to Chancey Page, and to Professor Rita Borzillo for bringing Alpha 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 to Chestnut Hill College. Um, you may not know, Dr. Thorpe was part of the founding uh, organization for Alpha 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 at Moravian College. And when you look at the number of organizations and the breadth of organizations, colleges and universities that are members, it's pretty surprising to see it started in 2018. And so um, that's, it's just, it's great. Um, when I think about us gathering for many of these Honor Society celebrations, it's a great time of year to do it. And a lot of times they focus on what students study. Students are honored for the disciplines that they study in. And that, that is wonderful. But I think particularly special about this evening's event is that uh, our honorees are uh, identified and honored for your identity. And I think that's important. Your identity, who you are, matters very much in terms of why we're here this evening. And I think it's so appropriate for Chestnut Hill College in particular to have an honor society that focuses on your identity. I also think it's particularly wonderful that we actually have some of the professional staff and, and, and other members of the college community uh, joining you as inductees this evening as they've been your mentors and companions in this process in this process for you. And I think that's just another great reflection of what the experience is at Chestnut Hill and how proud we are we are of it. We look at student learning a, a lot. We look at a lot of other indicators for success a lot here at Chestnut Hill. And one of the things we find is that um, we do best by students and we do best as an organization when we're holistic in how we look at the work that we do. When we take in, in mind and, and take account of every facet of every individual that we work with. And when we do things by the numbers here, um, a lot of times that falls apart when it comes to describing the experience at the college. And I say that as someone who teaches statistics, my goodness. Um, but it really is that holistic approach, understanding and valuing each person for who they are that defines the experience here. And we see that again and again and again. I think in the case of Alpha Alpha Alpha, Tri Alpha, your identity, the holistic understanding of your work, appreciates the fact that you students are pioneers for your families and for your friends. And I just think it's also so special that you're joined this evening uh, by the loved ones and friends who've accompanied you on this journey, and I'm sure the pride that you share as individuals this evening. And I think about your role as pioneers, as first-generation students being inducted into Alpha Alpha Alpha. And that pioneering spirit, that innovation, is so much a part of what Chestnut Hill College is as an institution. In terms of being inclusive and embracing all of that innovative pioneering spirit that each of you have as you change your lives, the lives of your families, and the lives of your communities. And if we look generationally at Chestnut Hill and the work that's happened here, whether um, it's generations of women, generations of adult learners, um, reaching out to learners from all backgrounds, embracing the, the dear neighbor, um, it's very much part of the work that we do. And so currently, today, we celebrate another dimension of inclusion at Chestnut Hill College and, and honor it, honor it as a key component 
of our educational process as a key component of the work that we do here. And so again, on behalf of Sister Carol Jean Vale, our president, who would love to be here this evening, she's actually at a dinner event on behalf of the college. I'm just so proud to accept the charter, just so delighted to invite each of you this evening and look forward now to joining the audience and celebrating what you've done, but more importantly, celebrating who you are. Thank you. Thank you, VP Doherty. Uh, now I will invite Chancy Page up. Okay. Hello again, everybody. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go over some history and just some of the principles of Alpha Alpha. So the logo or the key um, includes the number 2018, um, the year in which Alpha Alpha or Tri Alpha for short was founded. The logo is a star in the center of several cities, indicating the various communities in which you are a part. The community of Chestnut Hill College, um, the nearby community, so in this case it will be Philadelphia, um, and the community of the wider region and the wider world. The star represents you and as a star in your family, lighting the way for others to follow your lead into higher education, just as the stars in the heavens above have guided mariners and travelers in the days of old. Remember that you are this beacon of light to someone else, and you have a responsibility to lead others to the light. The pen that you all are going to receive uh, is a part of the induction, and it includes the logos as well as well as the words first gen, um, so that everyone who sees you wearing this pen will recognize the importance of the journey for you. The cords you will receive at graduation, so for my folks who are graduating or have um, graduated, are blue and gray. And they use the colors of Moravian University, where the society was founded, and the colors are intertwined to demonstrate the connection we all have to each other. Okay, now here's the fun part. Would those who are being inducted into this National Honor Society this evening please stand? So whether you are graduating or not, if you are being inducted, please stand. Look at that, clap for yourselves first. Look at that. That is some first generation excellence right there. The ancestors would be proud. So I'm going to read a passage, and when I give you the okay to say so, you're gonna answer I do, okay? Just once, it's a little bit long, so bear with me. Being the first can be hard. Being first can be scary. Being first can be exciting. As part of the first generation in your family to go to college, you are a source of pride and guidance to others. By accepting membership in Tri Alpha Honor Society, you recognize your responsibility to your family, and to future generations of first, to finish what you have started, to be their compass, leading them to their destination when the way seems uncertain, to be their light in darkness, and to support others in their own journeys of firsts. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you accept the obligation of thanking those who have paved the way before you and who've made this journey possible for you. By accepting membership in Tri, in Tri Alpha Honor Society, you accept the responsibility of helping others as you have been helped, or as you perhaps wish you had been helped, to serve as mentors and guides for the next group of students to step foot on a college campus as the first in their family or circle of friends. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you have an obligation to take pride in your achievements and to share your story so that others learn of your accomplishments and, share, and can share in the joy of your successes. Here we go. If you do accept these responsibilities, please respond with, I do. I do. Beautiful. Please be seated.
Okay. All right, so here comes the fun part, induction. <laughs> Um, so as your name is read, you're going to come forward to uh, receive the core if you are graduating or you've had graduated. You also are going to sign the registry right here, which Keisha is with Dr. Dorp is doing now. Um, you'll just put your name. You can put the date if you want to. Um, and then you'll receive a card. And then we'll probably do a photo op. And then you can go back to your seat. Okay? Cool. Okay. Let's see. It's been a long day, y'all. It's been a long week. It's been a long year. Okay, all right. So first up, Monisha McBride. Tracy Rockmore Austin. Sonia Hill Bryant. Alicia Melendez. Jocelyn Torres. Latoria Anderson. I see Lee Basketball. Katrina Burton.
Regina Johnson. Latasha Miller. Melody Myers. Christina Rodriguez. Chelsea Sailor. Vash T. Starks. Okay. Let me let me let me uh, make sure I correct myself. Vash T. Starks. Clarissa Connor. Jasmine Franklin. Moya Hall.
Lavinia Pitts. Courtney Wells. Alicia Goodman. Jacqueline Presley. Pierre Alsager. Gabriella Davis. Farida Faraji.
Jezebel Vasquez Gonzalez. Thomas Hartman. <laughs> Barry Hunsberger. Madeline Kozak. <laughs> Jordan Cope. Frank Lopez. Patrick Loterzo. Milagros Sanchez Miranda. Nashali Ochia.
Nayeli Rodriguez. Eileen Sharkey. Hope Widmer. Dylan Strauss. As an institution which is committed to serving first-generation college students, Chestnut Hill College welcomes first-generation college graduates to faculty and staff positions. Like you, these faculty and staff blaze the trail to higher education for their families and serve now as role models for you, our first-generation students. And recognizing their accomplishments, we demonstrate that being the first to attend college is one thing, finishing is another, while mentoring and assisting others in that position may be some of the best service to a first-generation graduate that can be provided. At this time, we admit into Alpha Alpha the following first-generation college graduates on our faculty and staff with all the rights and privileges of full membership. She's behind me, but Dr. Rita Borzillo. Sam Brockway. <laughs> Yolanda Cole. Lisa Dunkel. Okay. 
Dr. Katherine Gilstein. Josie Valerio. Small correction, it is Josie Valerio. Oh, I said it right the first time? Okay, so I, I was second guessing myself. Okay, well that's good, all right, well good. Then I don't feel bad. Okay. <laughs> We were giving out so many, I was ready to just keep going. Okay. All right, so we, we applauded the whole time, but just one more time for everybody. There's so much pride in what you have accomplished. There's so much pride. I often say my grandmother came here under indentured servitude with the hope that her children and their children would have a better life. And I was the first to get a degree and the first to call, be called doctor and it's an amazing accomplishment just within my family, just within my house. But think about all that you're gonna give to the individuals, to your children, to your coworkers, to your friends, to your parents. All of that you're giving back. So the nights that you said, no, nah, I can't hang out with y'all, I gotta get this paper done. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetheart, mommy needs you to play quiet in the corner for a second. <laughs> Honey, I know we were supposed to go to dinner, but all of the nights that you put something on hold for this degree are not in vain, okay? It meant something, it means something. That's why I was just so glad to have you celebrate your moments. <laughs> celebrate your moments. You are a star in the middle of somebody else's circle, okay? If we look at the emblem. You are just as you are surrounding someone else's star. You're all connected here. This is a society and this is a community. Chestnut Hill, we have a community. This honor society is a community. Be proud of this. If you are walking next week, wear those cords. You have earned them. Just remember, as Shakespeare once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but it is within ourselves. So go forth, live in the light, shine like a diamond, have some refreshments, joke and laugh, we are done. Two things I forgot, two things I forgot. The first thing I wanna do is thank this man right here.